All right, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the almost perfect, heavily modded Subnautica playthrough. This should be episode 16. And this is a very heavily modded playthrough. All kinds of crazy things can happen. As you can see, I have the water level lowered. So you're probably wondering why I'm in free cam mode. So I wanted to say that Ramen Neptune came out with a mod recently called No Caustics. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that just right. But apparently a caustic is uh, like the shimmering effect that you see when you look down in a swimming pool you see the lighting shimmering all over the, the ground or or in this case the ocean you look down and you see that light shimmering on there well you guys know that i complained in the past because i lowered the water level and you could still see still see the light shimmering all over the ground well think thanks to rama neptune we have gotten rid of that effect to make the game look more realistic for our playthrough he originally came out with the 2.0 version and I messaged him and asked him, I said, can you please make this for Legacy? So he was nice enough to go in and remove the um, Nautilus dependency that the mod has. So that way I could just stick it into the Bepinex plugins on for, um, for uh, Legacy version. So anyway, thank you, Raman Neptune. We now have a little bit more of a realistic look here. Just if you could all just ignore the flying fish... <laughs> <laughs> we'll just say that they have little wings and they're just gliding through the air because that actually does exist. But anyway, let's get out of free cam mode here. All right, so there's a few other things that I want to talk about before we get started. So, as you all know, in the last episode, we built the Habitat platform, and I was really excited about that, but here's some there's some good and bad news here. Well, we got it built. It looks cool. I can put stuff on it. The bad news is... The game thinks that you're underwater because of the fact that the water level, well, we lowered it. So who would have thought that would create so many problems? Well, the windmill, wind generator, wind, yeah, wind turbine generator, blah, blah, blah. That is not going to work because the game thinks that we're underwater and it's simply not going to have power. So we're probably, what we're going to have to do is probably get a power transmitter. And I'm thinking about just putting the windmill's on top of the island over here and then have like power transmitters going to our habitat platforms that way we can power our bases and then we can probably even put some bases on the island if we want i think it would be kind of neat to kind of build a base around and on the island like just completely just ha you know colonize this island <laughs> claim it as our own property i think that would be kind of neat i've never done something like that before and this playthrough is all about breaking boundaries, you know, doing new different things that have not been done before. So combining all these mods together, and I figured that would be kind of neat for our playthrough. That's what I decided to go with. And I'm, I'm hoping, so this is what I'm hoping, is I'm, I'm going to put all the vegetation on the platform, and I'm going to hope and pray that the game lets them grow and does not assume that it's underwater maybe for that. I don't know if that's going to work. So... Um, I'm going to go just into day mode just for the sake of showing you guys some of this stuff. So, yeah, I, I want to try that. If that doesn't work, then we'll have to just put our vegetation inside the platforms or just set up some outside uh, those little uh, vegetation areas to put stuff on top of the island, maybe. I might have to do that. So, um, all right, I got a list here of things. Okay, so, yeah... I might possibly ask Lee23 if he could help me to get this turbine to work in this position because I, I believe that this is his mod. Now, I know that Field Creator Studios has their own version of it is what I've heard, but I think, so I'm not sure who the original author of the wind turbine is, but I know Lee23 put this in, so he might, you know, he's a busy guy, but he might be able to help me with that. I don't know. So anyways, moving on. Uh, I looked into... Now, as you some of you might know, I have the Terraformer mod on this playthrough. So, I looked into it, and apparently you cannot build the Terraformer. I, I have tried to look on here. We're going to look just one more time, so that way I'm not, you know, going... That way I'm not crazy here. Now, the Propulsion Cannon has an option where you can get rid of some terrain, I think, as an after effect when you're using it. It's called the... Uh, not the propulsion, but the um, the upgraded version. I can't think of the name. My head is can't remember. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna spawn in the terraformer because 
you cannot build this in the game. You have to spawn it in. So I, I, I don't know why that's a thing, but when if you look at the mod page, you'll see you have to spawn it in. So now we have the... Every time I press in, that night eye comes on. So now we have the terraformer. Now, I'm not going to use that right just now. That's going to be something that we will use whenever we feel whenever we feel like it. So let me take care of some food and water issues we're having here. So, oh, so off camera, I did just do a little bit of resource hunting. Got some titanium, just kind of doubled up on some lead and gold. Got a little bit of, of course, I've healed up, as you can probably tell. <clears throat> Got a little bit more copper and silver stocked up. So let's... So I definitely want to, by the end of this episode, at least have a few things built. Maybe get my vegetation planted. Okay. Okay, so... Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, I still don't know why you guys are dying. That's just part of this playthrough. So, here's another thing I want to talk about next on the list. Now, as you know, I goofed up and this thing is halfway in... <laughs> in the island, or not in the island, but just leaning up against it. So, I was looking up some of the command codes for this specific mod, and there are ways to move it. And off camera, I tried to get it in a position that I wanted it to be, but because of the fact that we have the water level lowered, it kind of confused it, and it, it kept putting it in the air. Now, I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it to a position where I wanted it to be. So, what we're gonna do? is we're going to, let's see, HBPL, destroy. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, now we're landing back in the water. Okay, so we got rid of it. Now, what I'm going to do, because of the fact that we wasted resources to build one, and we, you know, we already built that one, and then we built this one, I'm probably just going to go ahead and make another one. And since we already used the resources, I'm going to I'm going to go into creative mode just for a second, just for a second, and we're going to just build another one. Now I've got this thing positioned kind of where I want it to be. Okay, and then we're going to go back into survival. Okay, so since we used up the resources to build it, we just and because of the fact that you can't use the uh, builder right here to make one. I figure since you can create it with this, why not just erase it and then reuse the same resources and now we got one over here. So I got that out of the way. So let's try to see if maybe we can put some... Oh, and another thing I wanted to talk about just real quickly. So the last mod that I added and I can't remember who it was that was asking me to do it. The easy craft. So I don't believe there's a way to use it with the platform, the you know, the habitat builder, because it's not showing anything in the green. Now there's an option to make it to where this thing will have certain meters, like a range. But for some reason, it wasn't working when I did that. So I changed it to inside. So just so you guys know what this is. All the stuff that I have in my lockers here, copper, silver, titanium, whatever, I can go in here and just build whatever I possibly can with the resource, resources that I have without having to take everything out of the lockers. I think that's absolutely amazing. And there are other mods that I have not touched base on with you guys yet that will show you a picture of all your resources I don't know if I can build that in the in the boat. I, I might be able to, but I'm going to wait till we get us a, a good base built before I do that. It'll show you the pictures of everything that's in there. It's going to be really cool. But what's nice about that is I can just save time and build what I possibly can with what's in there. So let's go down here. So this is going to be, as I said, a base building episode. We're going to be trying to figure out where to put some things, what we're going to do with it. Um... Now that I got all that talking out of the way. <laughs> so this guy is not going to work. So we're going to have to deconstruct you, unfortunately. And we're probably just going to put that on top of the on top of the island. It says, warning, emergency. See, now that's kind of weird. Let me try rebuilding it. 
That was weird, because it should not have power. Okay, so... Yeah, it says wind turbine 0%, efficiency 0. So yeah, I was definitely not wrong. That will not work at all. I don't know why it said lost power, because it's not providing any power. But it's interesting how, look at that, It's it's got a power transfer going to the boat. That's kind of weird. And then it stops. But the boat doesn't... Well, the boat actually, now that I am think about it, it does use solar power, and it, a lot of it was losing power at night. So we have no power to this. Now, I'm wondering if maybe I just want to get rid of this and just try to put the plants on here. Let's take this down. Let's just take this down for now. And we might actually build our actual platform. Okay, why is that still there? All right, so I had to reset my game because I ran into a little bit of a bug with the Habitat Builder. But anyway, we despawned this Habitat right here. And I learned the hard way that you, we, we can't put vegetation on the exterior grow bed. Especially not here because the game thinks we're underwater. So that's not going to work. We're just going to probably have to put them on top of the island or inside of our bases. So got our night eye going on here. <laughs> it's a shame that it doesn't work on the Habitat uh, material right here. It works on the terrain, but it won't work on this. Keeping an eye on you. If you guys want to come up with a nickname for this little pet, I, obviously he wants to join our crew, so... <laughs> so we'll have to come up with a nickname for him. Okay, so what I'm wanting to do... Is, I like how I can glide from this one to this one. <laughs> what I'm wanting to do is I want to build a habitat right here. And then I want to connect it with vertical shafts to go all the way up on top of the island. So let's start doing that. Let's see, is that... Did I do the right one? Alright, so we're going to have to have to do a hatch. Alright. Let's turn that night eye off. So, let's see. We're going to... Yeah, it's the four. Start building us the vertical connector. Um, yeah, okay. So I'm trying to think of exactly how to do this. So let's see. Okay. And then I think what we need to do is build another one of these. I guess we could just do the two compartment. Build that right there. And then the ladder. Uh-oh. Did I use up all my titanium? I did. Okay, so I still have everything for the wind turbine. Okay, but I gotta be able to get up there. So let's go back to the boat. I need to get some food. I need to get some more water. Um, I might actually go ahead. Woo. Keep an eye on you. I might have to go ahead and just kind of park the boat a little bit closer. I think um, now that I think about it, it would be a really cool mod if there was actually like a dock. Uh, that you would put on the habitat platform and it would like dock the boat. <laughs> kind of like, because I do have the Cyclops docking mod on here. We haven't used any of that just yet, but some kind of boat dock would be really cool. Okay, let's turn around here. Ooh, moving a little too fast. Okay, let's go just a little bit. Whoa! All right, all right. I don't know if it's shallow or not. It's just I don't want to run into. Okay, that should be close enough. All right, let's get our titanium out of here. Okay. All right, so we're going to build another vertical connector from here. Uh-oh. Ah! I, I think it didn't quite connect properly. I wonder if I can get up there. I forgot to get my food, too, didn't I? All right, well, let's let's build the ladder just real quickly. Let's see. Nope. I have to go in here first. There we go. 
Okay, and... Let's see here. Now, I don't know if that was connected or not. Um, can I get up there from here? I can. All right. All right, so let's... Because uh, I want to make sure 100% certain that this is connected. Okay. And... Let's build us another one. Okay. So, the plan is... I don't know if we can attach... I'm curious, like, what I can and cannot attach. Ooh, I could put an observatory on top. I've, I've never done that before. Uh, yeah, I don't think that can connect to a vertical shaft. But it can go on top. So can we put one of these up here? Uh, I don't think that'll go... Let's go ahead and just try it. Is that connecting to it? No, it's not. No, that was... No, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, so I'll probably have to connect one of these or one of these to the top. But I want to make sure that it's high up enough for me to get up there. So no, let's not do that. Let's do another vertical. Well, this would not be possible without the jetpack. Okay, so now if we attach one of these to the very top. All right. Okay, so we should be able to slowly get our way down here. All right, and let's get that food that I forgot to get. All right. Okay, so now we need to make sure that we can build a, a hatch. Now, I don't know if we can put a hatch on the very top of that vertical thing right there. So I'm not sure how this is going to work. But let me make sure I have enough to build a hatch. Now, I might have to build... Oh, I'm going to have to build another ladder too. So let's see where are we at with materials. We have four titanium. I don't think we got all of it. Yeah, we still got more. Okay, and to build a... Okay, we do have quartz. Okay, I think we got what we need for now. Okay, so... Gotta get that right. Alright, so let's start building another ladder. All right, and so we should be able to build a hatch at the top. Yes. Perfect. Perfect, guys. All right. Woo! <laughs> so my... Whoa, oh, no, 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 no. I can't stand... You know, I've heard other people complain about this. I can't stand the jumping mechanics in this game. It's like, what were they thinking? Like, you, you bounce off the side of something. Anyway, wind turbine. So... Since we have the terraforming mod on here, this should kind of like cut into whatever's there. I think it should kind of like despawn the trees. But we're just going to stick it right... How about right here? Okay. Turning. We got us a turbine that spins. <laughs> and that is p powering trans... Yes, or transmitting power. So, the way that this mod works is it supposed to have... It says 61% efficiency. Now, there's supposed to be 100% if you are aiming at a certain direction of the wind. And I think you're supposed to, like, kind of experiment with different angles, different directions to get more power. Now, I tried to remove that option from the mod, but clearly that did not work. So, it works. All right, so we have power. Oh, okay, so it says... 166, 16, okay, so it's going up. It's going up. It'll, I guess, go up to, all the way to 750. Oh, okay, so we need to... What if we tried to build a vertical compartment? Yeah, here. 
Or no, I should have done a curve. That's what I should have done. But watch this. Yeah, now check out, see what just happened. Because of the terraforming mod, this actually cuts into the um, the terrain. So what we could do, we could deconstruct this. And then we can put our, our hatch right here. <laughs> Pretty cool. What do you think? Kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> got the plants spawning in. So yeah, yeah, so we can get all the way up to the island. Oh, I wonder if there's something I can do. To, oh, wait, of course there's something I can do. Um, Where's that terraformer? Did it despawn? Okay, well, uh, I guess we got to spawn it in again. I mean, like, that's kind of weird. Spawn terraformer. Nope, nope, nope. Here. A former. Where did you spawn at? Really? It's like... I don't know where it's landing. Is it like falling through the floor? Well, um, let's just do it in here. There it is. Weird. Okay, so now the way that this works is it should, uh, let's see, okay, drag right button to add, but I don't want to add out of material. D oh, so I'm building up, shift drag button for more. Okay, there we go. So do I have to build up material? Look at that. That's so cool. We're going to completely reshape this place. <laughs> nice. So that way when I get in here, there's nothing like in the way. And then we just kind of like jump up through here. Build us a nice little trail going up here. <laughs> There we go. There we go. We can walk all the way up here. Nice. Turn that stupid night eye off. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why that was a... Uh... Yeah, that's in my inventory. Okay. Yeah, somehow it despawns itself. I hope, I hope it stays in my inventory. We'll save. But if it despawns itself, we'll just have to spawn it back in. It's just one of those stupid bugs with the mod. So... Okay, so we have gotten quite a bit done. we still got a few more minutes for this episode. We have got the platform fixed. We discovered there's some things we can and cannot do. So what I want to do, and this, yeah, this is something I want to do before the episode ends. I want to be able to get some food up here. So let's, um, let's build us an outdoor exterior grow bed. We'll just kind of set it like right next to our... Okay, so we don't have our seeds in our inventory, though. So we're going to have to go back down. And we're going to have to get those. Oh, that might be a problem. <laughs> get it, get into the up and down thing. All right. So, I mean, we're seeing some pretty interesting progress, though. I This is definitely the most unique base I've ever started to build. Alright, let's fly up here. Okay. And we're going to try to put some seeds in there and see if we can get some stuff growing. Now, I've I've only used interior grow beds. I don't know exactly if you can put these in exterior. I don't see why not. Alright. So, yeah, yeah. The reason why I could not place them in the grow bed down there is because, like I said, the game thinks you're underwater. So that's a, that's a shame. I'm going to, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to ask some of the modders and see if there's maybe a way 
to confuse the game to thinking that that's not underwater at that Y coordinate. So, all right. So we have us uh, some food that is in the middle of growing. Of course, there's obviously plenty of plants here to get. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, we had to do that, but we will have to, um, I think what we'll have to do now that I think about it is if we do decide to have exterior grow beds on top of these platforms, what we might be able to do is we might be able to have like a, um, see the water level would normally be around like right there. So we would probably have to, if like I'm saying, if we wanted to have one of these in another area of the map, we'd have to build the habitat platform and we'd have to build one of these vertical shafts and maybe see if we could put something on top of it. Maybe a, um, oh, wrong button. Let's see. We would have to maybe do some foundations and have them higher up. Let's, I wonder if I can do that. And then, like, stair-step them. That'd be a lot of work, though, just to be, you know, just for vegetation. But So, another thing that I want to try to do is start building a moon pool. Get me another, another submersible built. I don't think that you can put the other uh, submarines in the moon pool. I don't think you can. But I'm going to let you guys vote. So, here's what I'm thinking for the next part of the playthrough. Now, we have this built here. I mean, we could either A, continue building a base and just completely, completely habitate, habitate this, um, I can't think of the word, completely just take over this island and get it built up and, and build up some more resources, build our, um, oh, let's see, get some reactors built, maybe some water filtration machines. Our modification station, we don't have one of those just yet, I don't believe. Get us, yeah, we need, we need a medical kit fabricator. We need to build one of those. And we definitely need something to get our batteries recharged. So, okay, well, let, let, me, let me rephrase this. Okay, so we're definitely going to be making the next episode a base continuing episode, without a doubt, okay? That, uh, there's no doubt. But, on the episode after that, do you want me to pursue building a Cyclops and going straight to the Grand, uh, not Grand Reef, but the Lost River and proceed with the game? Or do you want me to head towards the Field Creator Studios, which is going to require a little bit of work. We're going to have to build us an underwater base. We're going to have to build us a whole bunch of oxygen tanks because it's going to be a very lengthy process to get all that restored and we're gonna have to like swap oxygen tanks down there in the process it's not going to be easy but the Altera field creator studios that is something i definitely want to get done or would you rather see me head straight for the lost river i'm gonna let you guys vote on that i'm gonna make a post for it probably tonight uh but without a doubt ep the next episode will be us continuing this base building because we have some things, the, the, the more I was talking about it, the more I was realizing, yeah, we got some stuff we really need to build. We really got a lot to do. I'm probably going to go ahead and extend, extend the base further out this way, so that way we can have us a nice big habitat and then just connect it to this and have all this filled in. And then we will get some of that built that we need, but I think... I think it's safe to go ahead and end the episode right here. So that way you guys know where we're heading with this playthrough. This was just kind of, you know, getting a few things figured out. Some of these mods, it's a um, it's a learning process for me, just as it is for, I'm sure, all of you. Are those floaters on my boat? How dare you? How dare you attack, assault my... Where's my knife? No, nope, wrong one. Oh, I guess I could just pick them up. I don't know how they attach to my boat like that. <laughs> but anyways, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not. And we will continue this heavily modded, insane adventure. And we're, we're taking our time with it. We're not rushing through it. But if you would like to see more progress with the game, then vote to have me go 
build a Cyclops and just head straight for the Lost River and we'll go from there. But if not, we can take our times with Field Creator Studios and continue building and learning more about the mods that we have on here and what they have to offer. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and save the game while I'm thinking about it. Peace out.